Hey guys, this is Ruroni K95 here, and welcome to the 2023 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series. We'll be taking a look at the late 2000s to early 2010s movie genres, especially the ones from 2008 to 2012. I have under movies on there because I have a lot of them as well, and I have a little bit of anime on there because since the previous video that I did as well. So let's dive right into this, today, on the Physical Media Video Library Series. Welcome back. So in this video, so we're going to be taking a look in the late 2000s, early 2010s category in the movie genres because we're almost done finishing on that. Because we're going to get closer to the, the movies of the year. But I'm going to exclude the anime in that one if I'm allowed of them. For the most part as well. Whatever I had as well. Something what I had in mind. So... We're going to be taking a look at some movies on here from 2008 to 2012 on this one. Because I know a lot of you want to check this video out because we're overdue for a new video, that's why. So without any further ado, which is right here and right now, let's dive into the movie genre starting in the late 2010s to the, the late 2000s to the early 2010s. Let's begin. The first one here I got on DVD, and I think this is the one that I recently got this a while back at Target, back in 2008, and I remember seeing this movie at the movies as well, Cloverfield. What can I say, because this is a great movie from 2008, in my opinion. To me, this is directed by Matt Reeves in that one, however, it's in production with Bad Robot production in that movie. I didn't know. Interesting, that's why. However, this movie is rated PG-13 for violence, terror, and disturbing images. Okay. And this has some deleted scenes, alternate endings, outtakes, and the making of Cloverfield feature. This has the director's commentary on this DVD, though. However, this DVD is pretty good for the commentary if you ever want to watch something. If you ever want to listen to a audio director's commentary on the film though because I just wanted to come by for this accordingly as well. However, this movie is also available on Blu-ray as well. Just to give a word on that because it's presented in 16x9 anamorphic widescreen. However, another movie I have right here on DVD and I think this is the one that I have right here and this is from the directors that worked on Independence Day and The Day After Tomorrow. 10,000 BC. This has been a long time since I've watched this movie. However, this has the exciting alternate ending and there's some additional scenes. And this, it's only on the special features on this DVD though. However, this is directed by Roland Emmerich. This is the same director that worked on Independence Day and The Day After Tomorrow. I didn't know that this is for the directors. However, this has both versions. This has the 4x3 pan and scan full frame version, and this has the 16x9 anamorphic widescreen on this DVD, which is all in a flipper disc. Pretty neat. Just to give you a word on this, because this version, this DVD has both versions of this. However, it's also available on the Blu-ray release also. Another movie I have right here, and... I think this is another movie from uh, Blue Sky Studios, and I think this is the one that I have right here. Horton Hears a Who. This has been a long time since I've watched this movie a while back, which I remembered though. However, this has the director's commentary on here, and there's a, not that many special features on this DVD, but you know what I mean though. However, this DVD is only presented in both versions. This has the 4x3 
pan and scan full frame version, which is the full screen, by the way. And this also is presented in 16x9 anamorphic widescreen on this DVD also as well. Yeah. However, this is in an orange DVD case on here for a movie like Horton Hears a Who. That's why. Yeah, this just got to my case as well. Another 2008 movie I have right here on DVD, and I think this has been a while since I've seen this movie. Bedtime Stories. This is only presented in 16 by 9 anamorphic widescreen on this DVD, though. And, however, there's not that many special features on this DVD, though. However, this is released in... This is a 2009 DVD release, but this is obviously released in 2008. As if I could give you information on that as well. However, this is also available on Blu-ray also. Oh, what, it came with an advert on here? Oh, that's pretty neat. Oh, this has an ad for this on there, which is the... Ortega Grande Dinner Kit. Which is hard and soft tacos on here. And stuff, you want to make some tacos and all that. I love Ortega tacos. Some good stuff, that's why. Yeah, because... This is inside the DVD, which you don't find very often, that's why. Another movie I have right here on DVD, and... However, this movie is based on a true story, which I noticed. But I, had, I haven't watched this movie as well. All Roads Lead Home. I haven't seen this movie, but however, this DVD it has some deleted scenes, and this has the trailer. There's not that many special features on here. Yeah, however, this is like, you get call like these bargain DVDs that you find that are released by Anchor Bay Entertainment as well. I have not seen this movie, though, but I'll just give it a watch at one point as soon as I can as well. Another movie I have right here on DVD, and this is the best movie of the of 2008, in my opinion. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. This has the Return of a Legend featurette, and this has the pre-production featurette. Also, there's not that many special, a lot of extras on there, but there's only a couple of them. There's only two featurettes that are on this DVD. However, it's also available on Blu-ray and on 4K Ultra HD as well. As if I could remember for this as well, because I just wanted to come by for a movie like this. It's been a while since I've seen this movie, like maybe back in 2008, which I remember. Another movie I have right here, because I have a couple of movies that are part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies I have right here on DVD. Iron Man. This movie stars Robert Downey Jr., Terrence Howard, Gwyneth Park, Maltro, and Jeff Bridges in this movie. However, this is the very first Marvel Cinematic Universe movie on here because I just realized I wanted to come by for a movie like this because I just wanted to come for the fact of this as well. It's been a while since I've watched this movie, and to me, though, I love this movie because... This is like the early introduction to the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies in since the late 2008 eight as well. And it, this is the only Marvel Cinematic Universe movie released by uh, Paramount. But I and although I I have got, I have another Marvel Cinematic Universe movie I have on DVD, but it's the only one that is released by Universal Pictures. The Incredible Hulk, starring Edward Norton, Liv Tyler, Tim Roth and William Hurt. What can I say? This is a great movie, though. I know a lot of people hate... Some people may hate this movie. Some people can say it is the weakest movie as well. But I really enjoy this because this DVD has the deleted scenes and the feature commentary, the director's commentary on here. It's pretty good for the commentary on this one. However, it's also available on the Blu-ray Steelbook as well. As... Well, if I could ever come by for this, whenever it's available. Oh, here's the disc as well. Oh, this got an ad for the Incredible Hulk TV series. 
even though I have our, I already own all five seasons of them on DVD. In case you're wondering, and this one has a lot of good stuff. An, an ad for Hostess on here. I love Hostess because they got good treats on there as well. And there's the ad for the toys as well. Oh, and it has the introduce about the Blu-ray high definition quality as well. In case you're wondering as well. It's been a while since I've watched this movie. And another movie I have right here on DVD, and this has been a while since I've watched this movie. 2012. To me, though, this is one of those first movies I watched from 2009 on here. This DVD has some deleted scenes, the alternate ending, and this has the writer and director's commentary on here. And this has the music video, Time for Miracles, by Adam Lambert on there. However, this movie is presented in 16x9 anamorphic widescreen on this DVD. And it's also available on Blu-ray as well. However, it's from the same creators that worked on Independence Day, Day After Tomorrow, and 10,000 BC. Yeah, I think they worked on this as well. Yeah, because I just wanted to come by on this as well, and how I realized as well, because that's pretty something new for this as well. This has been a long time since I've watched this movie, that's why. Another movie I have right here on DVD, and this is the best Pixar film from the 2000s as well, that I have right here. Up! This is my favorite Pixar movie as well. However, although I like, I've seen other Pixar movies, but this is a pretty good movie in my opinion. I mean, it has its moments. Overall, a fun movie to watch as well, because I love this movie. That's why, because I just wanted to come by for this as well. However, it's also available on Blu-ray. I might as well, if I could upgrade that to the Blu-ray. Another movie I have right here on DVD, and this is from the people that brought you Hells of Eyes and Nightmare on Elm Street, I have on DVD. The Last House on the Left. This is the 2009 remake movie. However, this is the unrated version is not rated. However, the actual version is rated R. Oh, okay. For the, However, this DVD has some deleted scenes and some more on here. I didn't know that this movie has two versions on here as well. It's been a while since I've seen this movie, though. Another movie I have right here, and this is my favorite horror comedy from 2009, and this is my all-time favorite, Zombieland. This is a great movie, in my opinion. To me, though, this movie's presented in 16x9 anamorphic widescreen, and it is... Rated R for horror, violence, gore, and language as well. This DVD has some deleted scenes and has some commentary, and this has a lot more on this on the special features on here. However, this DVD is pretty good for the commentary. It's also on Blu-ray as well. And finally, we're into this as well, because another movie I have right here, and I think this has been a while since I've seen this movie, when I saw it at the movies... How to Train Your Dragon. This is a great movie from DreamWorks, though. However, it's been a long, long time since I've seen this movie, though. Maybe I saw it back at the movies. Like, maybe back in 2009. Like, maybe around... Eight, it was either April or May 2010. I don't think it was 2008. It was 2010. I think it was either April or May 2010 when I saw this movie at the movies. So that's why... Because I had a long history of how I saw it at the movies. Another movie I have right here on DVD, and this has been a long time since I've seen this movie. Toy Story 3. This is the third Toy Story movie I have on DVD. However, I might as well have to find a Blu-ray release so I can upgrade this to the Blu-ray as well. However, this has been a long time since I've seen this movie, though. Because this is presented in 16x9 anamorphic widescreen for a movie like Toy Story 3 as well. Because this has been a long time since I've watched this movie, if I could remember. 
And here's what the disc artwork, what it looks like. So it looks more different than any other Disney DVD or Blu-ray or any other kind of releases on there. It has its moments. Overall, very very good sequel to the first previous predecessors, like the first two of the Toy Story movies. Another movie I have right here on DVD, and this is the one that I has always get to my case, and I've always wanted to f know the certain movie that is not to be confused with the other movie with the same name, Frozen. This is the 2010 Frozen, not the Disney Frozen movie. No, no, no. This is the Frozen movie I have right here on DVD. You know, when I talk about this movie, Frozen, I'm... And, because, you know, I know it has got to my case, though. Like, when it say about Frozen, you're, you're thinking, like, what, are you talking about the Disney movie from 2013? No. I'm talking about the 2010 Frozen movie, which stars Kevin Zegers, Zegers, or if I... If I cannot pronounce the, his last... Kevin's last name in the movie. Sean Ashmore and Emma Bell in this movie... Because this is from the produce, the director of Hatchet and the executive producer of Saw in this movie as well. Yeah, this is rated R for disturbing images and language, and this is released by Anchor Bay Entertainment on DVD though. And yes, this is the Frozen I've seen, not the Disney Frozen, but this Frozen I have right here. You know, the stars Kevin Zagers, Sean Ashmore, and Emma Bell. The 2010 horror movie. It's like how you're... It's like how they were... Got stuck on a ski resort and all, and they were surrounded by a pack of hungry wolves in that movie, though. It's been a while since I've seen this movie, though. It has its moments. Overall, it's been a long time since I've watched this movie, that's why. Another movie I have right here on DVD, and... I think this is the one that I plan to watch as well that I got right here. Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Another rated R movie, once again. Yeah, because I have realized I wanted to come by on this. As well, because... However, this DVD has the making of documentary, and this has the director's commentary and a lot more on the special features on this DVD, though. However, this is pretty good for the commentary, in case you wonder if I remember for this as well. Another movie I have on DVD that I got right here. Hold on, because I got some more other movies I have right here. And I think this has been a long time since I've seen this one as well, that I have on DVD, Secretariat. This has been a long time since I've watched this movie, though, because, however, that's pretty much how I wanted to come by on uh, movies that were released in the 2009, late 2000s or early 2010s for this one as well, for a movie like that. It has its moments. Overall, it's been a long time since I watched this movie, though. Another movie I have right here on DVD that I genuinely love is this one I have right here, War Horse. This has been a while since I've watched this movie because this is a outstanding masterpiece of a movie from director Steven Spielberg in that one. This is PG-13, okay. However, this movie... Is one of the best movies of the year in 2011 as well because this is an outstanding movie I have right here, accordingly. Just so you could know for this as well. Oh, it's just so. Which has been a long time since I watched this movie though, for the think of it as well. It has its moments. Overall, it's been a while since I watched this movie though. Another movie I have right here on DVD, and I think this is the one under 2012, 
because we're in the 2010s category, that's why. Since I've shown you other previous movies that I have on DVD as well. The Grey. This movie has deleted scenes in the feature commentary with co-writer and director Joe Carnahan. And this movie stars Liam Neeson, who is recently known for Schindler's List, and I think he also did Excalibur, Star Wars Episode One, The Phantom Menace, and I think he worked on most movies he has famously worked on. Accordingly, just so I could come by for this as well. And this is rated R for violence disturbing content, including bloody images and for pervasive language. Oh, okay. Yeah, this has been a long time since I've watched this movie. It's a pretty good movie, though, in my opinion. However, this is also presented in 16x9 anamorphic widescreen on this presentation of how it's presented for a movie like The Grey, of how I can want to come for this as well, accordingly, just so I can get to my case on this as well. Well, we finished off in the movies I have between 2008 and 2012, late 2010s to early 2010s decade as well. Especially everything from like adventure, action, and some like adventure and some superhero and some horror in that one. And. Finally, we're into the anime, because I know a lot of you want to check this out, because that's all I have, one anime for the 2010s. I will get more anime movies from the 2000s to the 2010s decade on DVD and Blu-ray at one point as soon as I can, because there's a lot of them out there that I have. And I think this has been in my anime collection for a very long time. Berserk. Golden Age Arc 1, The Egg of the King. This is the first of the Golden Age Arc trilogy as well, because this has been a long time since I've watched this on the Blu-ray when I first tested it on my PS4, because that got me introduced to Blu-rays. And not only this got me introduced to Blu-rays, but this is actually my first anime on Blu-ray I have ever bought, because that has got me into the game on how I've been collecting Blu-ray as well, because I just wanted to come by for this accordingly case if you ever want to know for this as well and to me though this has been a long time since I've seen this the only thing I need I ha want that I don't have that are missing are um, the last two of the remaining Berserk Golden Age Arc movie trilogies which this completes it as well yeah which that'll get you going for this as well because I have it on Blu-ray anyways, that's why. Because it's presented in 1080p high definition quality for this one as well. And this came what's inside. Oh. The advert for the manga, because I have been reading the manga because I've heard good things about the manga, though. Because I need to get the rest of the manga as well. I'm starting my manga collection as well, whenever I can get something to do reorganizing as well. So that's going to be it for my video here for today, you guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's what I'm going to say for this one. Well, because I wanted to showcase some movies that were from two th late 2000s to early 2010s, because I have one anime movie from 2012 on here, which I have, which is in my anime collection, just to give you... On the, the side note to this, accordingly, because we were long overdue for a new video. That's the point for that, of how I want to come by on this, of how I wondered as well. Accordingly, that's why. Hope subscribe for more content. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, especially if you're new to my channel, because I've been literally getting into the blue right now. Everything. From. World Cinema and Ralph Bakshi films from the 70s and 80s, as well as movies that are also presented in THX certified also as well, especially the ones I can find that are on DVD, and so the ones that are in widescreen that I don't have that I wanted to get, which is uh, 
there's a whole bunch of other movies. For example, like uh, the 2004 widescreen DVD uh, of uh, Top Gun on DVD. I'll probably get Top Gun at one point on DVD. For the most part, as well. Okay, just to get takes the cake for this one as well. And also be sure to smack and other more ones as well as I'm also getting into the vinyl records, everything from like New Wave of British Heavy Metal, Norwegian Black Metal, Scandinavian Black Act Metal, as well as Death Metal, Thrash Metal, every metal bands that are from the underground as well, accordingly. And also patches for my battle jacket, everything from like embroidered iron on, so on patches to like cloth patches that, that can go on your battle jacket in denim or in leather as well. And also, I've been literally getting into guitar strings for my electric guitar, especially everything from like Ernie Ball to like Dunlop and other kinds of strings I can get for my what has got to my desire as well. And also, I've been getting into the whole thing of the collecting variety in a whole hobby I have. For the whole hobby type of variety of collecting, that's why. Smack the like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit the notifications bell button. Be sure to get notified also as well for more latest updates just to keep you notified. Let me know your thoughts by leaving in the comments by leaving your comments in the comment section below if you like as well. And also be sure to check out my Anime Planet or Analyst at your leisure at this point because... That's all I have what I got for today. Well, I had to do this video, that's why. This is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it. I hope you enjoy. Hope to see you soon for the next video. Be sure to stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off. Thank you for watching my video. And I will see you soon for more videos that I got on plan when I got for the ideas. Take care.